Hello everyone, welcome back to Hate Plus. Alright, let's begin day two of the female mute route. Here we go. Once again, just like the first day, this should be extremely quick. Uh, hi. Hey, mute, what's up? Let's not waste any time, I'm anxious to read about what happened. Alright, let's get right to it. Again, being, uh, whether you're a male or a female, it does not seem to affect the comments that the AI, uh, the AI makes on what you're reading, so I'm not even going to actually read these things, I'm just going to open them and close them. I think it's only the in-between dialogue that changes, at the moment, anyway. I'm not sure if it's going to end up having a major effect on what happens, or, or what, we'll see. That is exactly why I'm doing this, to see. M2, 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 and we're good. Okay. Rendezvous in the dark. Review. I hate the mornings after. I hate the mornings after, too. I make everything worse. <sighs> Once again, just reading the titles kind of makes me depressed. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, this is going to be really, really quick. There we go. Can we talk? Sure. I'm having a really hard time dealing with some of the stuff we've read. Like, what the hell's up with the society's treatment of marriage? Queen Yana always told me it was bad in the past, but like... I don't know, I guess like... It's one thing to understand abstractly how those relationships worked, but another to read about individuals, you know? And the idea of being together with you. Okay, so this is different. Yeah, so this, everything before I think was the same, but this is different. And the idea of being together with you. I mean, you know, you're very kind to me. You gave me a new home. You're helping me learn about all this. I'm not ungrateful. I just feel like you're settling for me. Wouldn't you rather have a husband instead? It'd be so much easier. No. I like you just fine. What? Wait, what, what did she just say? Hold on. Well, if it's you, it's okay, but... What am I saying? Don't say something like that. I don't want to be the one who's responsible for your life going astray, okay? Jeez, that's so much pressure. I mean... Fine, I'll say it. I like you. I like you in the same way I've liked the men who were good to me, even. So, that's why I feel strongly about this, okay? I think you deserve better. God, Mute's selling herself so short. If I'm distracting you from finding that, well, I feel... Forget it. Anyway, though, we were talking about the people on the Magungwa. I don't mean to judge you, I just, like, I don't get it. Why would anyone be so cruel to women as forcing them into a role they can't fulfill? And I mean, like, I don't know, it doesn't seem like anyone really cares that much about marriage in this period. Like, reading about Hyo uh, Ai Chong and Mei Chen Ah, it sounds like they hardly even ever so much as thought about marriage. I just don't get it. Like, if it weren't for the names, Reading stuff like that, I'd think they were men. But even more importantly, they just don't seem to respect marriage very much, period. Is that, is like, that normal in your time, too? Very normal. Scary. It's just, it's the most important relationship. Like, I don't know, it just feels unfair. Filial relationships are the most important things, and for a woman, marriage is the most important one of those. Like, I'm not being judgmental, okay? This isn't a superiority thing. It's just, you know, to expect women to get by without those relationships, all alone. Like, it just feels incredibly cruel. I'm a security program, right? My job is to prioritize stability above all else. It's important. 
Like, stability isn't just about stopping banditry, it starts with people, okay? If individual families aren't even in harmony, then what hope does the rest of the ship have? Well, I mean, I guess we both know the answer to that question in the end. <laughs> yeah. Strange thing is, she seems to think that marriage, or forcing marriage or heavily encouraging it, is a sign of harmony for the family. That's com But that's complete bullshit. That is just not true at all. It might make things look like they're harmonious because you're married, but... Yeah. Ha and ha look, in what, in the US, how... What's the percentage of people that get divorced? Like 50% or something? I mean, come on. Marriage might make things look harmonious, but they don't magically make things better. Alright, what's in here? Oh, layover on Earth. I make everything worse. All right, let's grab some more. Is there any M2 left? Nope. All right, M4. Ah, yes, good old M4. It's got all of the records. The nobility stipend, the new council, the meritocracy act, blah, 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 blah. I'm so glad I'm not going to be reading those again. They were hard to get through originally when I didn't even know what they said. But now they'd be extra painful. There's just something about politics and political discussions that just bores me to tears, even if it's relevant to what I'm... You know, what I'm investigating. And they were. They were relevant. Talk to me. Okay, please? Sure, what's up? Right now, I just feel like... Like I don't really have any purpose anymore. Like I said to you before you downloaded me. Really? I'm like the widow of the Magungwa. It died before me, and now here I am without the ship I devoted my entire life to. With nothing left behind but the woman who failed it. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful to you for bringing me along. I don't like the idea of widow suicide. Like, I don't think it's right to pressure someone into making that kind of decision, right? If someone wants to relieve the burden they're putting on others, it's an admirable thing to do. But... I just think it's important to try other solutions first, you know? I went along with you for a reason, and I'm not ungrateful for that. You seem to be a good person, and I respect that a lot. But like, can you tell me why? Why did you bring me with you? You know, last time I said duty... I'm, I'm gonna do something different here, I'm gonna embarrass her and say love. Jeez, you poor woman. <laughs> like, I always thought... I always thought... There's something about their face that just is cracking me up. Like, I always thought of my security responsibilities as being the same as any woman's responsibilities for their inner sphere. Just with, like, mine encompassing the entire ship. But even still, being social, spying for my mistress, making reports on the state of the ship every day... Like, those things aren't really the same as normal wife's duties, are they? So really, being programmed as a woman... It should be a good thing that I'm relieved of those duties, right? I'll always mourn the Magungwa, of course. But it's better to just be a normal, ordinary wife, isn't it? I, oh my gosh, <laughs> look at how happy she is. Oh my gosh, she's excited. I'd never really consider the implications, but... You know, I'm capable of feeling love. 
I'm just like a woman in that way too. She is so happy. Wow. I did not expect that reaction. But it could never be my priority. Not while my primary duties were the ship's security. I've fallen in love before, though. I mean, with men, of course. I could never really properly fall in love with someone like you. You're a woman. I'd never love you in the same way as a man. I like you, just... It's not the same thing, okay? But you saved my life, and I'm not ungrateful. So I can try, okay? I don't want to be like that awful pale bride refusing to be a good wife because of her own stubborn ideas. Mute, I like you, but don't talk bad about Yane. Don't talk bad about Yane. I baked her a cake. Don't say bad things about her. I can't promise I can love you, but I can still try to be the wife you want me to be. And you know, even if you're misguided, I think you're still good. So maybe it's okay for me to be the Magungwa's widow, but also your wife. Jeez, <sighs> what am I even saying? I can't believe I'm thinking about that at this time. We're supposed to be focusing on historical research, not to be rambling like a girl about emotions. Let's get back to finding out what came from all that horrible degeneracy and premarital affairs and conspiring. Okay, back to it. And what's this one? Please do not ignore that's the chain... Nigerian scam chain email thing. Yeah. And we are about to get to the death of Mute. Huh. I wonder how that's going to go. I suspect you can't stop her from killing herself. I really suspect you can't. Alright, let's finish up M4. And let's move on to M5. Yeah, I really suspect you can't stop her from killing herself. It'd be nice if you could, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Hmm. Hey, this is really important, Miss Investigator. Click on me, okay? I just can't believe that old mute has the same base code as me. Like, she's kind of a bitch, isn't she? She's incredibly rude to all her superiors on the council. She thinks she knows best about everything. It's so completely arrogant. To say nothing of all, of all the conspiring. What do you think of her? You know, before I said she's complex, which is true, she is. Or, she was. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with something different this time. I'm gonna say she's cool. Because, I mean, all of these are true to some degree. She's complex is the one that best encompasses my feelings, but she is a bit of an asshole. I wouldn't call her a, a bitch, I don't like that word, but she is a bit of an asshole. But she also is very cool. So yeah, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna say she's cool. Oh, well, of course someone like you would think that. The hell is that supposed to mean, mute? But like, you're the same kind of woman as her in a way, aren't you? Um, I don't know. I'm not an AI. And I'm not... 
hundreds and or thousands of years old. Other than that, I guess we have some similarities. An independent working woman. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough. I mean, not that I think you're a bitch or anything. I'm sure you're a lot more respectful to your superiors than she was. Like, I'm not saying that at all. I just think she's kind of more like you than me, you know? Maybe like, in your world? She's something... admirable. But I believe in order and stability. People being in harmony is important, okay? A rude, disrespectful, disrespectful woman like that, being in such an important role, like, if she were just some random woman being rude, it wouldn't be a big deal. But she's really prominent, she's attached to a noble family, she plays a huge role on the ship's ruling body. She's supposed to set an example. I just can't believe that kind of person shares the same base coat as me. She wears pants, she has disgusting habits like smoking, she's a bitch, she's an out-of-control woman in charge of her security men. I guess the thing that scares me is like, do you want me to be like her? I <laughs> got this option again. I don't like any of these options. Calling her a chauvinistic bitch is just horrible. Again, it'd be more attractive is also disturbing. Are like you trying to mold someone to change so that they're more attractive to you? That's just creepy. Like, be more how be more like how I want you to be. How creepy is that? That's really disturbing. So, as much as I want to mess around a bit and try different options, I don't, I'm not comfortable doing anything else. I'm going to say no, never change. Thank you. I'm so glad you understand. You're my rescuer. I'm your wife. I owe you a lot, and like, despite your flaws, I respect you. I want what's best for you. I don't want you to have an unhappy life lived without ever experiencing real love, okay? All this stuff, playing at love, playing at being a man, it's not the same. I want you to experience the real thing. I want you to have a real man in your life. You need a real husband, not a wife playing as one, okay? God, she's selling herself so short. She's being... Yeah, she's... She's devaluing herself so much, and at the same time being completely sexist. But... Her motivation for doing it, for saying these things and behaving this way, is because she wants what's best for me. It's so... sad. I care about you. I think you deserve that. I just want what's best for the person I like. Anyway. Sorry, I thought taking a break would calm me down, but clearly it's having the opposite effect. Let's just get back to reading, okay? Were there any more documents? I think that was the last one. Alright, so yeah, I think we're about to get the death... Yep, here we go. The death of old Mute. Well, please make sure the death of Mute is in there. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, here we go. Start with the others first, of course. Okay. Here we go. I'm just as anxious, uh, the brute force decryption still hasn't found the key yet, unfortunately. I'm just as anxious as you to read it, okay? I'll let you know when it's ready. Wait, but didn't I finish reading everything? Oh, wait a minute, wait, is there a me No, there's no message. Oh, I guess I did not finish reading all of these. Okay, never mind.
Okay, here we go. Uh, hey. And that log file, The Death of Mute, just finished decrypting. I'm scared, but... Let's read it together, okay? I need to know what happened. Alright, here we go. Well, I've already read it twice, so I'm not actually going to read it. So, yeah. It feels somehow disrespectful to just open this up and then close it. Because of how disturbing this message is and what it means to her, but I, I've already read it twice. I know what it says. So, yeah. I... So that's the whole story. I feel... I feel like I'm not okay. I'm really not okay. I don't know how to parse all this. Um, like, I think... I need some time to think this through. Please, turn off the power for the night. I need to be alone, okay? Yep. <sighs> she's... Yeah, she's gonna do it again. <sighs> she's gonna do it again. I just need some time alone to think things over, okay? I'll let you go ahead and save your data first. Okay, all done. Well, farewell. Yep. Alright, that is it. That was very short. Again. I wonder what's going to happen at the end. She says she wants better for me. She doesn't think, you know... I, she feels like she'd be a pale imitation being my wife. She'd rather I have a husband. But... She, I mean, she's almost certainly going to delete herself again. Kill herself, basically. So, there's going to be a new mute. How is the new mute going to feel about that? I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Will she want to be my wife? Seems awfully soon to agree to be my wife in one day after being brought back to life, basically. But, I, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed my... I hope you enjoyed so far. That was the end of day two of the female mute route. And I will be back, well, tomorrow with day three of the female mute route. And we'll see how this goes.